It's time to get you up to speed on some of the stories developing this afternoon at five o'clock. And this one is unusual. Let's just put it out there. Chandler police searching for the person who stole a Hello Kitty AR-15 back in June of this year. The rifle was pink with logos and musical notes painted on it, and it was taken from a home near Chandler Boulevard in Kyrene. There were a number of other weapons stolen as well. If you know anything about the crime or who might have taken the weapons, you can call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. Tonight we have a positive update to a disgusting story. Police have arrested this guy, 32-year-old Ricky Sokwi. He was wanted for the assault of a Valley veteran who had just come home from Afghanistan. Adam McClure was at a West Valley Denny's with friends when he was attacked and badly beaten. McClure, in fact, is still in the hospital. Today, the Trump administration is launching the official start of the U.S. Space Command, making the U.S. one step closer to creating the first new military branch in 70 years. The president calling it Space Force, which for now will oversee satellite operations and missile warning systems. The administration says it's necessary to fight the threat from America's adversaries in space. Critics call it expensive and wasteful. Initial estimates of creating a space force range from two to $13 billion over the first five years. Now it's up to Congress to approve any new branch of the military, including the space force. And you better think about getting that new travel ID or you won't be able to fly starting next year. Starting October 1st of 2020, you have to have a travel ID that will have a gold star in the corner in order to get past TSA. The governor and Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego addressed that this morning at Sky Harbor. And you can find a link to the AZ Travel ID program on our website, on the 12 News app, and now you're up to speed.